We're here at Primp Cheap Chic Boutique. Yeah. I think I got that yeah, right. You did. Okay. Uh, no practicing that ahead of time. Where did the store start oh, yeah. and, and how did it get here? So we started, we have two owners. They started in St. Paul on Selby Street in about a five by five space. And now we have nine stores all together. And it was just there beautiful spirit of you know we want people to dress well but we don't want it to cost a lot and we want to give a great experience and just let people fall in love with shopping again we kind of set ourselves apart from other stores when people come in we offer water mimosas and wine all the time nice. <laughs> we do stylist appointments so we have a lot of gals who don't have a lot of time where they just don't like shopping so they come in we have everything set up for them already we offer longer hours so 10 to 8 so after work you want to make sure to come in you hit something that i think is really important about retail which is it's it's no longer just going out to get something mm -hmm. um it's going out to get the experience yes yeah so absolutely. tell me a little bit about that have you seen that with your clientele mm -hmm. absolutely so it's really easy like it just kind of makes things more fun to say oh have you tried the escape room down the street and they go no what's that um you know and poly eyes is famous so everybody goes there <laughs> and just like sparking their interest about if they're in here what can they do next um, whether they have five minutes or an hour we mm -hmm. want to make sure that their experience they remember and is really good so you know if it's going to the art gallery or getting a new diamond at Julie's we want to make sure that they have lots to do and that everything is closed so like clustered we have lots to do downtown and then just five minutes away there's more to do and we've got other great amenities like the, mm -hmm. the children's museum yeah. the the farm playground at yeah. Sibley Park That's so cool uh, kayaking down the rivers mm -hmm. there's so much to do yes yeah once they get here, it's right. hard for them to leave. Right, we need a big map and just draw it out. <laughs> Part of that experience can be obviously a great space like yeah. you've made here. Uh, it can be a great street, which mm -hmm. the city and the community can come together and do, but it can also be great events. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell, elaborate a little bit on, yeah. on any events that go on around here? Yep, so we, in our store, we host events giving back to the community. So we um, usually bring in a nonprofit. We just had in the Fallenstein Playground that's coming in. Yeah, sure. and then United Way just put on the human foosball tournament out here. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and it was so fun to watch. There's a great art gallery next door and they're always doing really fun things. Um, we have live bands that play outside and just beautiful fun things all the time. And, and we're talking about some of these things that you've just mentioned are within mm -hmm. about a grand total of three blocks in this yes. spot. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a nice walkable <laughs> area. Mm -hmm. Now, you're in a building mm -hmm. uh, that is the newest building on Front Street, yes. and it's by far the most visible yes. <laughs> because it is a big, big development mm -hmm. that went on with three separate buildings, mm -hmm. uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of over $40 million in investment. Yes. It put mm -hmm. in a lot of employment. Mm -hmm. It put in retail yes. at ground level on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. but it also put a lot of apartments yes. in. Yes. Is that a benefit or is that, do you, well, how it's does that It's definitely work? a benefit. We have a lot of people moving in um, and staying. Like they don't want to leave every year, every six months. And they come down and they eat here and they shop here. You know, they just get to enjoy the area. Because like you said, you don't have to drive. You just walk and it's peaceful and it's beautiful. Mankato really is a, a retail destination. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you, why Mankato and more specifically, yes, why Front Street? Yeah, well, I mean, of course, the community here is so supportive and so wonderful. And it's really the people and their interests that brought us here. So like you said, we're a growing retail industry um, with the mall, of course, but then downtown is kind of where the hearts live, where, you know, the people are really passionate about the things that come down here. Um, and so when the space became available, it used to be Miller Motors mm -hmm. back then. Um, and in just two short years, we've really transformed it into this beautiful building. It, 
if somebody doesn't know Mankato, if they're thinking of bringing their business, yeah, whether it be a, a corporate headquarters mm -hmm. or another retail, small retail shop, what would you have to say for them? Oh gosh, I'd say come in, hurry. <laughs> We are just growing by the minute. It's so incredible down here. We always think of like, oh, Mankato's uptown and Riverfront, but there's so much more. There's the Emmy Friends building where all of our artists collect and grow. You know, we have different salons with people who are from Mankato who've been here for so long. We just just have so much for everybody mm -hmm. that I think it's so great. Not only is our scenery beautiful, but our community is so supportive and people love to get out and they love to find new things. Um, their kids love to get out and find new things. And it's just a great community to come into. Um, I feel like we need more things because we are growing so fast.